at a 60 minute period, I said, I will try to find as much information about a random person that I can possibly find just on the internet. So what I did was I went over to Foursquare. And I'm not, I don't use Foursquare. I'm not overly familiar with Foursquare, but from what I understand, and maybe some of you in the audience knows more than me, from what I understand, Foursquare is a site where you sign up and then you can check in. So if anywhere you're at, so like right now, we're here at the credit union, you can go into your little app and check in that you're here. And if you check in enough times, more than anybody else, then you can become the mayor of that particular location. And it, I guess like if you're at a bar or a restaurant and you become the mayor, then maybe you get like coupons or something to go there more. So I guess if like you're an alcoholic and you go to a bar a ton, then you're going to get to drink a lot more for free. I, I don't know exactly how it all works, but people check in a lot. And if you ever notice, if you have Facebook or Twitter, a lot of times you'll see people check in. You'll see these things like so-and-so is checked in at like Jack in the Box. And you're like, why, why are they doing this? Why are they telling me they're Jack in the Box? I don't care. But you see these check-ins all the time. Well, that's what this is. is this is this Foursquare thing. And people check in. Well, what I did was I went to Foursquare and just figured, well, if someone's checking in there all the time, they're probably someone who uses a lot of the social networking, so I'm going to target them. So I went to it, and I clicked on the first name I saw, and the, the site that came up on Foursquare was this particular gentleman, a Todd H. Now, Todd H. on Foursquare, this is what the page looks like, they give you lots of information about them, and it'll show where they're the mayor of, what they're doing, just lots of crazy information. And so I figured, okay, I'm going to now target this guy, Todd H., and I'm going to see what I can figure out about him in one hour. So I went to it, and the first thing I did was I said, well, I know his name's Todd. I know his last name starts with an H. So I looked over here on his mayor's, where he's the mayor right now, and one of the first places I noticed he's a mayor is the Harder Home. So um, I clicked on his home that he's checked into, and sure enough, there's his home address right there. It's all public information. That's why I feel comfortable sharing it here, because he was willing to share it to anybody. So the Harder Home is right there. Uh, once I found that, I looked in. He's checked into his home 28 times. Only one other person ever checked in there. I believe it's probably his wife, but that was it. At the time, I didn't know he was married. Later, we'll find out that he is. Um, there's a picture of his home because Google will give you anything. So what I cared about on finding his home was I wanted to know, okay, if I'm going to target this house from, from a robbery standpoint, I wanted to make sure it's an open street. I didn't want to be on the end of a cul-de-sac, anything that would be difficult. I wanted this to be really simple to target. I also wanted a lot of space between the other homes because if I'm walking up, I don't want neighbors right on top of me. His home was perfect, absolutely perfect. So now I have his first name, last name, street address, and picture of his home. Next thing I did is I came back over here and I just wanted to see where else has he been checking in, what else has he been doing. Because I want to know where he goes, where he lives, where he shops, anything I can find. So I saw that he had a little Twitter link up here, so I went to his Twitter account. And on his Twitter account, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And the first thing I noticed is that he had a check-in there where he was dropping Jeannie off at Hannah's daycare. And I went, okay, Hannah's daycare, he must have obviously a daughter and she must go to the daycare, and it's another one of these places he's checking in. So I went over here, and sure enough, he is the mayor of Hannah's daycare. So I went, wow, okay, and at first I thought, well, maybe he works there as well, but he, he doesn't. But So I went over and looked, and here's Hannah's daycare. There's a picture of it right there. It's apparently somebody's home. And really what I care about, I'm not creepy, I just want to know where his kid goes to daycare. What I want to know is how far away is Hannah's daycare from his home? In this case, it's 13 minutes away. And so again, Google Maps lets me know that. That's important for me. If I'm going to rob his home and I know he's checking in at Hannah's daycare, it means he's 13 minutes away from his house right now. That's not really enough time for me, but um, it was definitely good information for me to know. So now I have a picture of his home. I know he has a daughter. I'm sorry, the uh, home, I have a picture of their uh, little daycare. I I know his daughter's name, I know it's 13 minutes away. Came back over to Twitter to look for more stuff, and I noticed that he also checked in at Calvary Temple Church. Um, he checks into the church a lot. In fact, while I was stalking him, um, I noticed well, he's the mayor of the church too, that's, that's right, um, which I, I, I'm assuming you go to heaven quicker or something. I, I don't know what the coupon is for that, but, um, but it's, uh, it's gotta be a good one. So he's the mayor of, of the church, and while I was stalking him, actually you can see right there, uh, he just checked in 19 minutes ago, and this is the middle of the afternoon. So he, he clearly goes to the church a lot. I, I don't know if he's a, a youth pastor or what, but he, he goes there a lot. So I go, oh, well, that could be a good one. And sure enough, that one's 30 minutes away. And I went, that's beautiful. That's a really nice one because like Sunday morning, 30 minutes out, 30 minutes back. I mean, that, that's a really good one. So I, I put that one in my back pocket. I now know where he goes to church. Um, I wanted to know what he did for a living. And shockingly, he was not the mayor of the job where he worked. And I was like, oh, come on, you're killing me. But fortunately for me, LinkedIn is awesome. And LinkedIn will tell you everything you ever want to know about where people work. So I went over to LinkedIn and here's, 
a picture of him. He's a system analyst over at, um, what is it, uh, St uh, Software Solutions, Stanley Works, whatever, Stanley Black & Decker. Um, at first, I kind of assumed he was single up to this point because I just wasn't finding anything good. But then I went over to his Facebook account, and on his Facebook account, you see lots of information, but it does show that he's married. Um, he's, uh, his anniversary is August 6, 1994, so I know he was married. So that's just a little bit of useful information. I might be able to use it. So here's her Facebook account, and unlike his, she's actually done proper. She's locked her Facebook account down. If you have a Facebook account, you should set the little security settings that say, do not share any information unless it's somebody I'm actually a friend with, because I can't see anything about her. All I know is that she has some friends on the left-hand side, and that is it. So his wife is much more secure than he is, and she's doing things properly. And the last thing that he had was on uh, Picasa. And anybody that uses Picasa, you can share your pictures and stuff. His Picasa account's wide open, which means you can see every picture that he's ever posted. For me, at first when I was going through, I was like, well, you know, it's just pictures, who cares? But I was able to find out so much information just from pictures. Uh, I was able to discover that they adopted their daughter. Jeannie was adopted from China. In fact, you can see pictures. That's where she was picked up her first day um, in China. That's when the family was there. So now I have some really interesting information about that. So in less than 60 minutes, I have just about everything I could ever want to know about Todd. I mean, I know his whole life history right now in just 60 minutes of all this information out there. So if I'm going to rob Todd, there's a couple times I would do it. I'd probably probably go for church or one of the roller derby times. And the reason I like church is because I can sit there Sunday morning, hang out outside, just sit down the street a little bit, watch them come out in their Sunday best, know exactly where they're going, know that as soon as they leave, the fastest they could get back is in an hour, and they're going to church, and nobody gets out of church anytime soon, so they're going to be at least another hour or two at church. So I've probably got to get a two-hour window inside their home that no one's going to be around. So church would probably be my best that I would go after for them. Um, and it's all because it was just, he just posted everything and made it public. Now, if you want, um, you can go on Google and watch lots of different videos of, of things that I've ripped people off and stuff. But um, you can also watch the, uh, the interview with him where he's not too pleased when he found out about all this stuff. And it's, it's kind of it's interesting because at first he goes, I don't think it's any big deal. And then the more we went through it, he finally went, yeah, yeah, this is a lot. And one point that he makes that I think is probably the best point of the entire thing is that he goes, look, you know, you found a lot of information, and when you put it all together, yeah, it looks really bad, but you got to remember, I didn't post that all one day. You kind of forget. You post a little thing here. You post something out here. You forget as you're putting all this stuff up that if somebody takes it all and scoops it together, you can build the whole puzzle from all these random little pieces. And that was such a good point because it's true, and that's what you got to kind of remember whenever you're using any of these uh, network services out there. If you're posting stuff online, that stuff is there forever, and this one little thing here, and this one little thing here, this one thing here might not seem like much, but once they all start getting put together, they can be used again. You, and there's a lot of criminals out there that do exactly that. There's been numerous, numerous cases of people having their homes robbed because of Twitter and Foursquare and these types of things. So be aware of these things. If you're posting stuff up, just be a little paranoid. What I recommend is let's say you're going on a trip somewhere, don't post out, hey, I'm in Venice right now. Instead, Wait till you get back from Venice and then post, had a great time in Venice. Here's all the pictures. You know, just wait. I know you want to tell everybody about it, but just wait a couple days till you get back and then you can tell them. And my wife gave me that because I have a Twitter. I don't have Facebook, but I have a Twitter account and I travel a ton. And I used to do the same thing. I'd post wherever I was. I'd be like, oh, I'm in such and such. I'd post pictures and it was a lot more fun. Now my Twitter account is very boring because one time I came home and my wife goes, what are you doing? You know, she looks at my Twitter account. She's like, why don't you just tell people my wife's home alone? And I'm like, I'm an idiot. Okay. You know, 